Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Now, this, this, this morning, I like to capture my thoughts, and I know a lot of people are going to frown upon a wise rebellion. Now, I'm reading the story of, of a man called Nabal and his wife Abigail, and then they, they, one way or the other, their paths cross the path of David. When David was running away from Saul, the Bible says in the fields with his armed men, his arm band, he came to the fields of um, uh, Nabal. And by virtue of David's presence, armed presence, Nabal's sheep were protected, Nabal's flocks were protected, and he himself was protected. Then it was time for Thanksgiving, and then, you know, and then uh, it was a Jewish feast. And then David said, went to him and said, please, can, can you give me one sheep so that my men and I can also celebrate it? And he had an insult. And the insult was a very piercing one. I don't have time, that's what Nabal said. I don't have time for rebellious prats. You get who are just there, they, they leave their masters, they, have, they are just like the koboloi, you know, that is uh, uh, what you call vagabonds, just moraders and all those other things. And the, and the comments he made were very nasty and they were very piercing. And David was angry. And David swore to himself that, listen, I'm going to deal with this man and I'm going to wipe him. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to wipe his sword backside on my sword. I'm going to make sure that my sword will be drenched with his blood. I'm going to wipe everything. And the man was, the Bible called him Nabal and his name meant fool. And he was also a fool. He was careless. He was a fool. And the Bible said, the wife got up and said, wow, if I don't, do anything about it. My children and I and this foolish man, all of us will die. So the Bible says she got up against the will, against the decision, against the destiny of the, of, the, of the husband. She said, I need to reach out to David. I need to reach out to David. And so she organized a quiet meeting with David and said, I need to reach out to this man. And so she reached out to David without her husband's consent, without the husband's agreement. He said, I'm going to reach out with him. And then she offered him the, 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 the fat of the sheep and, and the wine. And said, listen, celebrate it. And then she said to David, don't mind this man. For as his name is so, he's a, he's a fool. His name means fool. And he's also a fool. Please, don't waste your breath. Don't waste your sword on this careless blood. You're not, you're not going to get anything. You're not going to profit you. Rather, when you come into your kingdom, his blood is going to scream and run after you in judgment. The people will say that David unwisely killed this man. So you say, you are too wise for that. Don't do it. Leave him alone. This woman did it without the consent of her husband. You know, sometimes when death is coming and she sees that there is death coming and she sees that there is trouble coming. She saw that there was trouble coming. She moved to avert trouble irrespective of the husband's consent or not. She made an appeal and she's, she's not expecting David to go and tell the husband that you met with me. No. She went with this and said, I need to talk to you. This is just between you and I. I need to talk to you because what is coming is going to affect us all. So this woman made a wise move and was like a wise revolt. He said, I'm going to go against the wishes of my husband. I'm going to sit to the, and talk to this man. Less calamity befall us all. Lest we all perish by the anger of the, this man coming, who has been wronged. He is coming with a sword. He is coming with spears. He is coming with armed men. Just to wipe us off the face. Our memory will be blotted from the face of the earth. I need to save my family. I need to save myself. And I need to save even that foolish man. You know, sometimes, I mean, yeah, we have law, we have regulations and all those other things. And it was not even right for the woman to go and go and talk to David without her husband's consent. But she said, I see danger ahead. And I need to avert that danger. And as a result of that, she made a, by, a bypass and said, I'm going to see David and talk to David. That's what the woman did. So, you know, you call it rebellion. Yeah, I agree with you. But it was a wise rebellion. Anyway, the argument goes on. And the choices of where to stand is always yours. See you later.